I would have Punk and Cody as your final two, which again, might be kind of predictable. They've already set that up. That could be our final two. Punk and Cody, final two, Punk wins. Punk immediately after the match, not wait, don't wait till Monday Night Raw, none of that. Immediately after winning the Royal Rumble, get on the mic, Seth Rollins, I'm coming after you. I'll see you at WrestleMania. And boom, there's your night one main event. Then Cody, the next night on Monday Night Raw, he comes out for a promo. I'm disappointed. I don't know what happened. I have a story to finish, and that story was taken away from me. Fuck, maybe it's one of the Bloodline guys. Maybe Solo comes out there, or Jimmy, or even Roman, but probably Solo or Jimmy, and tries to do something to get Cody out, basically saying, Roman's afraid of you. He doesn't want to have to go through that again because he knows you had him beat at WrestleMania 39, and he might not be that lucky at WrestleMania 40. So maybe he's sent the bloodline out to get rid of Cody. And maybe it's Solo and Jimmy hitting the ring, eliminating Cody early in the Rumble or something, or maybe just doing something like what happened at WrestleMania 39. Remember Solo jumped up, boom, Samoan spike. Only this time, maybe CM Punk doesn't see it. It's Cody and Punk. They're both down in the ring. Punk's, you know, laying on his stomach with his head down. Solo comes in the ring. Boom, Samoan spike to Cody Rhodes. CM Punk eliminates him and then challenges Seth Rollins. And then Cody on Raw the next night is pissed off, rightfully so. You know, I had a story to finish and you are afraid of me. You sent your goons out there to eliminate me from the Royal Rumble because you know you can't beat me, you fucking pussy. And maybe Adam Pierce and Nick Aldis have an agreement and the Elimination Chamber match is made to determine who Roman's challenger is. Or maybe Roman defends in the chamber. I don't know. I feel like he's got to be there. It's Australia. It's a big show. So Roman might be defending the title in the chamber. I kind of hope not, but he might be. Or you do the chamber to determine his challenger, and then some sort of deal is struck. Or maybe Cody has to win a match. Maybe Cody says, I don't want you guys to give me any something for nothing. I have to. How about I beat Solo and Jimmy in a handicap match? If I win, I get in the chamber. Maybe they do it the same night. Maybe at Elimination Chamber, it's Cody. Oh, that's a lot of adversity, though. <laughs> that's a lot of adversity. Maybe Cody's got to like run the gauntlet against Solo and Jimmy. If he beats them both, then he gets entered into the Elimination Chamber in the main event. And so then he essentially has two matches, then gets entered into the chamber, and then wins that. You know, So basically doing throwing every obstacle, every bit of adversity that you possibly can in front of Cody. And he's going, to be sh- he's going to be on TV after the Royal Rumble saying, shit, I didn't win the Rumble. I'm on Raw. Roman's on SmackDown. I have no path to complete my story, you know, unless one creates itself for me. And so maybe he's, he's scrambling then to find a way to finish that story, and he sees a way to get there through the Elimination Chamber match somehow, and maybe he earns that in Australia, and then that sets up Roman and Cody. And then you've got your night one and your night two main events set. 